Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and this is Earphone Tuesdays, the feature that we usually release on a Tuesday, where we unbox and review a set of earphones or an audio product. And today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. So these are a set of relatively affordable earbuds from Samsung, and you can currently pick these up for around about £79 on Amazon UK. Right then, first things first, we'll see, we're seeing that they are offered between 6 and 21 hours of battery life from the packaging. And there's pretty simple packaging here, it's Samsung Soy Ink uh, cardboard with very little plastic. Inside the box, we've got two sides. One with what looks like the documentation. Let's see what's in here. So yeah, there's a little booklet, well, well handled inside a box, which is a bit of a challenge to get out of the box. Do I need to push one side? Yes, I do. So here we have a quick start guide, which I'm sure we'll read later. We have a little extra Samsung recycling or a warranty card. Inside the little box underneath the earbuds themselves, we have, it looks like a charge cable. So this charge cable has made in Vietnam on it, it's a good sign. And the cable itself is USB type A to USB type C. Praise be the standard that is USB type C. This means that if you have a Samsung smartphone and the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live, you just don't need to carry two chargers with you. you one should do. And then a little detail, inside that box that had the cable, there's an extra couple of silicon spacers these are for the buds, and we'll have a look at those in a moment. Now, inside the case, the other main thing is the buds themselves. So we've looked at all the little accessories, the literature, and you can see there's some subtle Samsung Sound by AKG uh, branding on the front of the box. The back has the USB Type-C port, and apart from that, they're nicely rounded, they're, they feel nice to hold. This is the Galaxy Buds Live in black, mystic black. Now, when you open up the box, you can see you've got right and left. And they're not, com they're not completely black. They look like a bit like pearlescent black, in my opinion. They're very, very, very attractive. So what we're going to do is take our Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Yes, that's the one we've already covered here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. In this case, I have the Caseology case on the, the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. And that's how I'm using it at the moment as we go through our review process. What we're going to do is turn on Bluetooth on the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. And then what we want to do is pair that with the Galaxy Buds Live. I'm going to pop the right one in my ear and the left one. And you can see that they have already appeared in the menu. I'm going to tap on that. Now this is an optimal feature. The earbuds are fully charged, as you can see. and you, you know that the case has a 47% charge. Now, what I'll be doing is checking that these actually work. So to do that, let's try opening, oh, Galaxy Wearable. It's updating the firmware to the earbuds. This is a good sign. Uh, it's not always often something you get. This is obviously a premium pair of earbuds. I'm going to agree to the terms of using this allow all the permissions so there we go we've updated the firmware to the galaxy buds live it's actually 
interesting, it switched to the black or mystic black ones. And you can, through this menu, through the Buds Live menu, you can toggle the active noise cancelling on and off. You can handle touch controls and you can also find your earbuds. But let's start off by looking at something like YouTube and just checking that the sound actually works here. So let's see what YouTube suggests. Peter as Deadpool, that's Peter from Family Guy as Deadpool, or here we go. Probably need to put the volume up. Yes, I can definitely hear that, so good to hear. Right, I will be putting these earbuds through their paces for the next while. We'll be back in a moment and we'll probably do a, a sample recording as well. And so here we are. Hello, Lukash, how are you? Hey, Mato, I'm all good. How about you? Good, good, thanks. Uh, we're here and I'm speaking on the Galaxy Buds Live. Better luck this week. Uh, I think it was mainly an issue with my machine last week. I did have another few Bluetooth devices attached to my Windows computer, and that may be what caused the issue with uh, connectivity and you not being able to hear me. But today I made sure it was the only device I was connecting to and it connected fine. Now I've connected other devices and there's no issues whatsoever. So the Galaxy Buds Live uh, are functional both for microphones and uh, as earphones. What does the sound sound like to you? Yeah, it sounds all good. No problems uh, from what I can hear. Uh, we've not had the best internet connection, but otherwise it's not the headphones fault. So sounds good. Good, good to hear. So you're currently working on a shiny new device. Are you allowed to talk about this one? Yeah, yeah, it's a Poco X4 Pro 5G, nice. which is very nice and shiny, refractive. So we'll look, watch out for an unboxing coming out in the next day or two. Yes, we're definitely looking forward to that one. Another Poco smartphone. Uh, if the people watching this video are regular viewers of the Tech Travel Geeks uh, reviews and content, the Poco X3 NFC was one of our most popular video series uh, on Tech Travel Geeks. And now we were hoping to reproduce that success with the Poco X4 Pro. Is it 5G? Yes, so it's it is. Poco X4 Pro 5G. Whereas I have to say this branding from Samsung on the Galaxy Buds Live is pretty straightforward. It's Galaxy Buds Live for the model that I'm wearing. And then there's the Galaxy Buds Pro. Easy peasy. <laughs> but these, Excellent. I have to say, are comfortable in my ears. They seem to be doing a good job. And I will carry on using them. Uh, this is going to be a bit longer of a, an evaluation than usual. It looks as if it's going to be just over a week. So thanks for joining us, Lukas. Speak to you soon. Cheers. OK, then. So I'm back. And it's actually been longer than I was expecting. I have really enjoyed using the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. And I have been using them for about a month at this point. And I have to say, they're a great set of earphones, with a few caveats. Now, let's explain why I like the Galaxy Buds Live. The way they fit in my ear, the way they, they fit in with a little bit of a curve is very, very comfortable for my, my ears. And I have to say, they work great with the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. So, I've used these for a trip to London. I used them mainly on the travel back during delays, and I got a good, uh, a good nine hours use out of them without having to recharge. During that time, I also used the active noise cancellation, that 
feature of the product that takes the outside noise, cancels it out so that you don't hear it. And it's not as good as, as I was expecting. Essentially what the reason for this is, I think, is the fact that the Galaxy Buds Live don't have a silicon tip like other earphones that we've reviewed here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. They're an open ear design. That means that the, the, there is no passive noise cancellation and any active noise cancellation gets a bit, uh, a bit put off by certain types of noise. So for example, on rail travel, uh, you won't get very good noise cancellation. Likewise, when I put them through the, the likewise when I put them through the vacuum cleaner test, you don't get uh, a great effect of the active noise cancellation. So I've chosen to not use that. Uh, but whilst being at home without large uh, noise sources around me, these are comfortable. They have very good sound quality, which is very well rounded. They have bass, but it doesn't. That bass doesn't doesn't overpower other uh, sounds in the in the spectrum. So they're very very good earphones, provided you're not in a noisy environment or you have background noise. I've also noticed that the battery life, uh, I, with active noise cancellation, I was only getting about three hours battery out of the buds themselves before I had to recharge them where I could comfortably get four and a half hours uh, whilst using them without active noise cancellation. Now, very good thing is obviously the case is very small, portable, really easy to pack uh, away or slip in a pocket and use. And the other thing is obviously on a Samsung smartphone, you also have the Galaxy wearable app, which I'll just hear um, the Galaxy wearable app, which allows you to see your device and its status, not only with battery, but you can change features on and off. So I've now taken these out. You can see that they're at 86% charge. I've just been doing a final test of these and you can turn the active noise cancellation on and off. The app also allows you to personalize your touch controls so you can decide what uh, that does. I have not used Bixby, I'm sorry, Bixby is not my uh, my assistant of choice. So I left that as it is. But I have to say, the app is really nice, really simple to use and very convenient on the Buds Live. And overall, great set of earphones, but not ideal for travel or dealing with active noise cancelling. Considering the current price here in the UK is around about £80 sterling, that's around about $100 in, in US dollars, I think they're a great buy at that price point. But I would definitely not recommend them at their original recommended retail price, which was around about £160. So, overall, great earphones. Uh, I'd say the other standout feature they have is the bottom of the device is compatible with wireless charging. I did have a chance to use that and it worked perfectly. So I put them on my wireless charger overnight and they charged perfectly, so no issues there. But for the majority of my use of the device, I have been using USB Type-C. So great overall earphones. They work very well with the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Uh, and I can definitely recommend them if you're not going to be using these in a travel or noisy environment situation. Uh, if you're doing that, I, I would say there's better options out there, including options from companies like Exa, where we saw the Exa GT1 uh, gaming earphones, which have very good overall spec sheets and have well-rounded sound. If, on the other hand, you want to be seen to be wearing these very pretty ergonomic beans, um, I would say the Galaxy Buds Live may be the ones for you, especially considering the recommended retail price is no longer applied by anyone, and you can pick these up on Amazon for £80 sterling. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find these on, uh, on Amazon. Obviously, it's an affiliate link. If you're buying from there, you'll be supporting the Tech Travel Geeks. 
But for now, thank you for watching. And uh, if you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We just passed the 20,000 subscriber mark uh, the other day. Thank you to, to you all for watching, subscribing, and leaving us comments, uh, constructive and otherwise, on our videos. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.